Yeah, I normally practice catch and release, so uh, I mash the bobs down on my hooks. I usually do it when I tie them, but you want to make sure that it's good and sharp, and if you'll dig into your fingernail like that, so we're good to go there. So it's real important to have the boat trimmed right in shallow water because you, you want to make as little noise as possible because fish are real skittish in shallow water. They're nervous. So any kind of sound really turns them off. So stealth is real important when you're sight fishing in shallow water. So we're just easing along here, trying to spot Mr. Redfish. And unless they're making a wake or got their back or their tail out of the water, you just have to rely on looking straight down in the water and seeing them. You want to go as slow as you can. You want to just barely ease along because I'm looking for redfish out in this area here. And if you get to going too fast and you want, you see something, you want to stop, you just put your pole right there and hold yourself a minute. And you got time to look around and search the area a little more thoroughly. But if you want to ease on further, just barely creep along. Great big, huge blue crawl, blue crawl uh, crab right there. Blue crab. I'm just using a little go, uh, bin back with a lot of gold on it and a piece of uh, fox squirrel tail. Actually, a piece of roadkill. I picked a, a fox squirrel up out of the highway and got his tail and tied some flies out of it. So I figured uh, at least I could utilize him that way. So the beauty of this, this big cockpit is that when you got your fly line out there and you want to strip it in, you strip it right here in the cockpit. And there's nothing for, to, for your line to catch on. It's just like a giant stripping basket down here. You know, the advantage of this polling paddle is that it serves two purposes. You can pole with it or you can paddle with it. So in shallow water where I'm sight fishing, I can take this pole and completely control this boat. In shallow water, I can pole and actually I enjoy poling better than I do paddling. You know, some people aren't out fishing, they just out paddling just for the enjoyment of paddling. And I like to get out for the enjoyment of polling because I'm elevated. And I can see things in the water that people sitting down can't see because of the advantage of having some height here. So I can see in the water a lot better, therefore I can see fish. And uh, I can control the boat with this pole. So if I want to paddle, in other words, if it's shallow enough to pole, I can pole. But if I come to a deep spot, 
and I need a paddle, then I can paddle. And see how I'm steering with the paddle? It's just like a rudder. So I can paddle, and then I can steer. So I'm in deep water now, and I'm paddling instead of pulling. And you can use it for a leverage against your body, too. You can turn it against your body, and I can turn the boat around in its own length. And then I just take a stroke on that side, and I'm headed in the right direction. And I can steer. If the wind's blowing me along, I don't even have to pole. I just take the paddle and steer with it. Something really strange about this redfish. I wonder why he wasn't fighting much. He doesn't have a tail. Redfish has normally got spots on their tail. First time I ever caught one with no tail at all. And he's, he's, it's all healed over. It's something that happened to him, maybe even in his youth. But never have I caught anything like that with no tail. I wonder why he wasn't fighting. He just, like I was dragging him in. He did give me a little bit of a fight for a fish with no tail. But uh, he's been living okay like this. So I'm gonna release him and let him go back to the way he was. Uh, if he can make a living without a tail, more power to him. <laughs> And see how easy it came out with no bob on it. So I'm gonna let him go and hope that he can keep on, keep on living with no tail. Go ahead, good luck to you, buddy. And I just love the pole as uh, most people like to go out and just paddle. I like to go out and pole because I'm seeing a lot more marine life and I'm at a vantage point where I can see what's going on below me in the water. You especially have to have polarized glasses. You want to try to keep the sun at your back and uh, just enjoy poling around. 